Hello and welcome to this new overview video for BPainter and in this development video uh, I would like to share some new cool features I have created or added to the add-on and at the end of the video I would want to share some exciting news so stay until the end. Okay, first I'm going to start with the layer system for BPainter. Um, I've already shown how it works so you can basically create layers here add new ones, um, you can set different mix uh, or blend types here. So this one is for example uh, um, set to mix and this is to overlay. Um, you can set them to, to add and so on. Uh, a new thing I've added is that you now can use adjustment layers. So currently these are all uh, normal paint layers. You can create a new paint layer and paint on it, but now you also have the possibility to create adjustment layers. Adjustment layers are not layers you can paint on, but you can uh, modify uh, the complete layer stack. So let's say I have this RGB curves adjustment layer, and what this can do is, uh, if I press on the curve here, I have access to the um, RGB curves. So this will give me a very fast access um, to the colors and uh, let me manipulate the colors here very fast. So the cool thing is, um, this will uh, work on the complete stack. So if I move it up, you see it won't affect everything that is beneath, but only what is uh, above it. So, um, and this is also very cool, a non-destructive workflow. So, um, yeah. Another adjustment layer is the um, hue saturation value. So that way you can quickly change colors here and uh, set the hue, saturation and value. Um, and if you want to create a new adjustment layer, just press here adjustment layer and for example invert and this will create an invert adjustment layer. You can uh, hide it, you can set the opacity if you like. So this works very fast in a non-destructive workflow. Um, you can also merge layers now. So let's say you create a new layer, um, a new paint layer, and you paint something on it. So that way you you are sh you can make sure um, you can always uh, remove the changes here or delete the layer. But let's say you have a few different layers, and um, you want to merge them. So you think, okay, these changes are good and you want to create a new merge layer. You just press the merge layer operator, then uh, it will automatically detect the maximum uh, image size, but you can always reset it here. Select your layer you want to merge, and then just press the OK button. And that way you see that it uh, merges the layer into one layer here, and you can rename it to whatever you want by pressing Ctrl and click here. Um, okay, so that this is for the layer management here and everything I show you now is um, done in cycles. So also the adjustment layers, this will only work for cycles because um, in the background it uses the cycles node system, which is very powerful and which lets you um, use all those features. Um, the adjustment layers won't work for the Blender internal renderer, but everything else should work. Um, what will be next on my to-do list is creating group groups for layers. So let's say I want to group layers into one group and I want also um, add the functionality to use masks. So let's say you have this um, hue saturation here and you will want it to affect only a certain part of the character. Then you will be able to create a mask and paint where you want the changes to appear. But uh, this is not done yet and uh, hopefully it will work as I want it to work, but this will come in the future. Okay, let's say you have your um, character and it's a little bit more complex. You have more channels than one and you want to paint on a certain channel here. Uh, let's say we go to the unordered images and create a new one. So, and you want to go back to your um, diffuse channel. 
you can search it in the drop down list here or you can just select the node here and say paint node and it will automatically set everything here and you can directly paint on in the channel here if you want to switch back to this um, image here just select the node and set paint node and it will work so if you have a few more here it will also automatically pick the right texture so just say paint and it will set it here um, let's say you want to mix those two into uh, with a certain stencil texture just select both um, nodes here and uh, press the create stencil layer operator and this will create a mix node and create a new image texture input um, which will then also display here and uh, this will set the mix values here so this is a very fast access for it okay this i think that's it for the layer system next i'm going to show you some cool things uh, for the brushes so let's say you have your brushes here and your list will be a little bit longer it can be um, hard to find a certain brush uh, for that i have created this search box here so i can type an eraser and it will immediately search for eraser and, uh, and if it finds it it will uh, select it so let's say default um, it will select the default brush or particle so that way you can very quickly access uh, your brush um, something else um, let's say you are painting with your um, brush create a, let's create a new layer um, and select the normal brush for uh, for now so you're painting here and you want to have a smooth brush so you can uh, change the curve settings here that way you have a smooth brush now this is fast already but um, what I really like is to use a sh shortcut for that and I've created a little widget which lets you um, reset the brush hardness very fast so um, in Blender you have the F key which lets you set the size the shift F key which lets you set the opacity and now I have created a little operator with Alt F, which lets you set the brush hardness. So um, in the background, it just sets the curve here. And as you can see here, and that way you can quickly change the brush hardness, which um, can be very handy for creating um, nice gradients. And this works very fast. Uh, another operator I've added is the um, uh, custom color uh, picker. So in Blender you have the S key, which lets you pick a color. The problem of that operator is that it just will um, search for colors in that particular image here. So right now you see that it picks the color here, but if I try to pick the green one here, it, it will just pick black because in that layer we don't have any green color information. Uh, because uh, yeah, it won't pick the mixed color, but only the color in that image here. Um, if you press now Alt click, you see that uh, it will start my custom color picker operator, and this will pick a mixed color of the complete image and set the um, complete character to shadeless. That way, you will get a proper mixed color, which is also shadeless and can be directly used for painting so um, also you have a small little preview of your current color of your previous color and if you, if you press right click it will uh, reset it to the previous color you can also access the color picker here at the top left corner and then just pick a color that way you can very quickly uh, create nice gradients by picking the color di directly from your um, model okay that's it for the color picker um, another cool feature which is very small but i think it c can be quite handy um, you want to erase some parts here then you can switch to the eraser brush 
do your changes, switch back to the default brush. Um, with the E key, you now can switch directly to the eraser. So press E and you can just erase. Press E again, you will be uh, switched back to your previous brush. So you have the hairbrush, for example, make some changes, press E, delete something, press E, and you're back at the hairbrush. So it will remember which brush was your active brush and then just switch between the eraser and your active brush. So this is um, a nice workflow improvement, I think. Okay, I think um, that's it for this video overview. And um, I promise I want to share some nice information. So if you want to try out the current alpha versions of B Painter, you can do it now and therefore you just have to head over to my patreon site i've set up a patreon site especially for uh, uh, b painter so um yeah just head over to it uh, you can um, donate and get access to the current alphas and um, just try it out remember this is still an alpha and um, it may contain a few bugs and hopefully I can release the first stable version in the near future. So, um, yeah, that's it. Th thanks for watching. And um, if you liked the video, as always, please feel free to share it with other people. And um, I see you in my next video. Thanks and goodbye.